Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. James Brown. We were talking about the early days of rock. We'll move on to acid rock and some other things, but you can't tell the story without telling the story of soul, and what is it? Well, soul is life. Uh, it's life at one of the humble levels where you need more than there, need more, where you need things that uh, you think is real valuable, that, that mean so much to you. But I'm telling you, if I had to go back, I think I'd settle for some of the smaller things because it's a little bit more relaxing to the mind. Now, wait a minute. You bring up an interesting subject. Your birthplace was Augusta, Georgia. Augusta, Georgia. You went back there and bought the radio station. Right. And two more. <laughs> you fly all over the world in a jet airplane. Oh, wait a minute. All right. You break all the records all over the world. Now, you mean to tell me you'd trade that in and settle down on a farm somewhere? Well, I don't, I don't mean all of it, but maybe some of it. Is there anything you haven't done that you want to do? I'd like to do movies. I'd like to add. So I, I think... Uh, That's your next thing. I got, I got to get off James <laughs> Brown for a minute. You okay. reflect on, if you will, a, a dear friend of both of ours, Sam Cooke, for a moment, will you? Sam Cooke, hey, what can you say? Sam Cooke was a one of a kind, never will be another. I wish I could be half as good as he was. He's the only cat that could get on the stage and keep the people completely spellbound and don't do no twists. I got to do everything, off and puff, you know. He was really together.